Power Maths has been designed to support UK schools with teaching for mastery and to make maths an adventure for children and for teachers. That means giving teachers everything they need to bring a maths lesson to life and encouraging children to be curious and take risks. We'll look at the theory behind Power Maths, taking a lesson step by step, then how it works in practice, including the support that's available for teachers, and finally, how teachers and children are using Power Maths in their classrooms and sharing their ideas. Power Maths is specifically built for the UK classroom, drawing on expertise from Southeast Asian colleagues. This is reflected in our author team, which includes Tony Staneff from White Rose Maths and Professor Liu, author of a best-selling textbook programme in China. The materials were designed in collaboration with current classroom practitioners and mastery specialists through our teacher partner programme. Power Maths has been developed with the growth mindset approach at its heart to promote the ethos that by working hard at maths, all children can succeed. Four characters appear throughout the materials encouraging discussion, offering ideas and modelling characteristics of a growth mindset that we'd like children to emulate. We partnered with White Rose Maths to create a shared progression of small steps children need to take to master the content in each year group. Teachers have the flexibility to spend longer on a topic or lesson where they need to. Each lesson is written by thinking about the sequence of small steps children need to take to master the key idea for that day, so all children can progress together. Let's take a look at each part of the Power Maths lesson and how it supports teaching for mastery. The instructional model gives teachers a framework for keeping the class together through whole class interactive teaching. The starter for each lesson is a power-up task on the interactive whiteboard. This focuses on gaining fluency in vital number facts, freeing up working memory to avoid cognitive overload during the lesson. The main lesson begins with a discover activity, which presents a problem in a relatable context. This aims to stimulate children's curiosity. They're encouraged to see the maths in the image, describe it and ask questions, making connections with other topics if they can. The images are rich with ideas to explore with the children. They work on the activity in pairs and can use concrete manipulatives to model and explain their ideas as the teacher moves around providing support. Discover tasks are designed so teachers can be creative and to spark children's interest in the maths. Once children have explored the maths in the Discover section, they share their ideas in a whole class discussion led by the teacher. The share section will help the teacher determine the maths they need to draw out and what images will help them. The modelled answers show the most likely models and images children may have used using precise mathematical language. They include any concrete objects from the Discover alongside pictorial representations and the abstract maths. These multiple representations help strengthen children's understanding of the mathematics. Teachers can focus on particular images with children or choose to compare and contrast. The key models and images are available as interactive teaching tools so that teachers and children can model their mathematical thinking pictorially on the interactive whiteboard. The characters offer prompts, questions and ideas to encourage mathematical discussion. Having solved the problem and shared their ideas, it's time for children to take the next small step to develop their understanding with guided practice. In the Think Together section, the questions become gradually less structured and support children in making generalisations. Teachers can take an I do, we do, you do approach with the three questions, with children working as a class, then in pairs, then individually, discussing answers all together. Throughout Share and Think Together, the teacher can identify key misconceptions before children embark on more independent work. The practice book pages provide intelligent practice that draws children's attention to underlying mathematical structures to develop their conceptual understanding. The questions draw on the principles of procedural variation to develop fluency. The practice culminates in a challenge which would be accessible to children who have taken each of the small steps throughout the lesson. On the last page, there's an opportunity for children to reflect on their learning, 
which is designed to develop reasoning and metacognitive skills. What I like most about the structure of a power maths lesson is that there are five specific parts and this provides plenty of opportunities for the teacher to be able to explain and model different concepts and methods with a range of representations. The children then go on to explain, develop and apply their understanding. My favourite part of the power maths lesson is the think together. This aspect of guided practice really supports the children well as they move from the teaching and learning tasks to independent practice with a greater level of confidence. There's a wide range of support for teachers to deliver a power maths lesson and ensure children can progress together through the content. At the start of the lesson, the new learning point is outlined along with relevant prior learning and misconceptions and difficult points to be tackled. Throughout the lesson, there are strengthened suggestions for children who need extra support, as well as ideas for deepening understanding. These help ensure that every child can succeed and every child can be challenged. There are also checkpoints for assessing mastery. These help the teacher identify specific misconceptions and plan next steps. Same day intervention can be provided within the lesson as well as outside. There's an e-textbook for use on an interactive whiteboard, making it easy for the teacher to present and discuss the ideas. It comes with built-in teaching tools that provide interactive models and images so teachers can explore their own examples with the class as well. For each unit, there's a short subject knowledge video to help teachers prepare. The video explains how the work builds on prior learning, the key ideas, representations and vocabulary introduced, and how to assess and go deeper. Each unit begins with a starter activity which resurfaces prerequisite skills and introduces new language and concepts. This helps the teacher ensure that all children are ready for the new block of learning. There's an end of unit check to assess whether children have mastered the concepts taught in a unit. Teachers can follow up as appropriate with additional strengthen and deepen activities available online. There are also progress tests for assessing the work children have done in each half term against age-related expectations. And there's an online mark book for recording and analysing the results. PowerMass provides you with carefully sequenced, high quality content so that you as the teacher can concentrate on your class and on asking questions like, what are the key concepts children will meet today? And how can I stimulate children's curiosity? We believe that you as the practitioner know your class the best and will want to shape the lesson in a way that works for your children. The children have engaged well with Power Maths and as part of a teaching for mastery approach they're now more aware of what they're capable of in the subject and also what they can achieve. The children have become more resilient in their math lessons and are now more open to using different ways and methods to find an answer. Power Maths provides a good level of challenge alongside good representations of key concepts. It also lends itself very well to being supported through the use of concrete objects and manipulatives. Take a look at our case studies to hear how using the materials is improving teachers' subject knowledge, helping with workloads, improving outcomes and inspiring children to love maths. Teachers have set up a Power Maths group on Facebook, which is a great place to connect with a community of peers and share ideas. The best feedback we get is from children who are challenging themselves and enjoying their maths lessons. Here are some adventurous children from the Meadows School in Staffordshire, modelling a growth mindset approach in their school. Hi, I'm Astrid. I'm not afraid of a challenge or to make mistakes. I'm Ash. I'm curious and inquisitive. I love asking questions to find new ways of solving problems. Hey, I'm Flo and I am flexible. I like finding new methods to solve problems. Hey, I'm Dexter. I'm always determined and I never give up. I'm Sparks. I'm super helpful. I like reminding you of things you need to know. Maths is so much fun at the Meadows! <laughs>